Hello YouTube family, James Green, short series shenanigans. So this week we're going to take a break from the uh, sheet metal working. Don't worry, we're still going to continue on with it. No, I haven't done anything else. I am going to do everything on camera. So switching it up because I had a couple other things. That is a project that's down lower on the priority list. I need to get it done. Don't worry, more to come. So what we're working on, and I know this would be a great uh, item. This I picked up at All Industrial Tool Supply. As you guys know, they're my channel sponsor. Um, this is a tool I picked up, and I know the reason I did is because we're all searching for those little solutions to help holding short stock. So what it is, it this one's actually made by OTMT. It's a three-piece chuck stop set. The model number will be in the description box. It's item number 69-500. 520. Now, this one is actually for the 3 to 6 inch uh, chucks. They have some for larger ones that are colored blue. These are colored red. Yes, when you pull them out, they're marked in metric increments. That's fine. Now, I thought about this for what these cost. I thought about making some. Well, if you buy some, depending on where you're at and how much you can pick up aluminum for, because that's what these are, aluminum with a neodymium magnets inserted in them. Um, they're actually pretty worth worth the money uh, for the sizes you have here. Uh, it was just a no-brainer for me. Uh, very handy and for us garage guys who always want to use short pieces of material, I'll go ahead and move you over here to the lathe and I've got you guys look over my left shoulder today so you can see what we got going on. Now, depending on what you got going on, you always have short pieces of material. Now what I like to do is, on this one I've already trued up both ends and I always mark my material. This is 8620, okay? So what I like to do is to get my material faced on both ends and then turn the OD down. Now, depending on, that way I know and I have it ready and set aside for when I go to do something or we're working on a short piece. The trouble you have is lining up a piece of material in the chuck. Um, so this, when you open it up, it comes in here. I'll set the box aside. I've been using these quite a bit. Um, they're very, very handy. Uh, they come on a little metal tray and on the side they're actually marked 15, 20, and 25 millimeter. You can see right there on the side. So they've got magnets in them. They have a little magnet tray, metal tray that comes with it. So I'm actually going to use the 15 millimeter one for this project because I want it relatively deep inside the chuck. Now, you don't want to hold it out here too far um, because, you know, it's pretty pretty good size stuff. We're looking uh, approximately uh, three inch diameter stock here. So they're real simple. You just slap them into your chuck into the middle and uh, slide your material in. And I've, I've already got this kind of set up a little bit, but we are going to go ahead. We're going to trim this down. We'll endo it trim it down again and we'll just get it to size and it'll sit on the shelf for future projects. So we'll go ahead and tighten that in there. Make sure I don't cover you guys up in the camera here. Let me turn the power of the lathe on. Alright, and then the light. So we're going to be using a CNNG styled insert tool holder for inserts. All right. And we're just going to come in here. Let me go ahead and set zero. One thing I like to do when I'm going to be working close, I'll have a stop point here and I'll consider, we'll call that zero. <coughs> I'll zero out the Z. All right. And we're just going to get started. I know from previous experience, 460 is a good all around. Uh, I'll zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see what we got going on here. Sorry, trying to get everything just so you guys can see what's going on. And we're just going to watch some, uh, actually, let me move you guys over a little bit here. All right. So I'm going to try to get you like up over the shoulder here and a little bit of elevation. All right. So here we go. I've already set my zero, so I know when I get down to zero, love having the DRO out. Run four six. Go ahead, 
take this down one, this next step here. We're just getting this where the mill scale is off everything. So again, there's no critical dimensions. All we do is endo it. Now it's going to be a little bit smaller here. And so this one's going to need to stick out a little bit further. So now that we've already used it, we can actually go ahead and leave this out if we want because this was not cylindrical. That's where this comes in handy so you can get everything square at the back end. I'm going to set this over here out of the way. Um, if you wanted to, to keep it from sliding in, you can also put one in. Let's go ahead and grab the, we'll grab the 20 millimeter just to demonstrate it. Okay, so we're holding it. It's keeping us flush on the back. Again, if you're worried about making sure you're square in your material, we're jutted up against it. All right. And same thing here, we're just coming in, cleaning everything up. simple so we now are you know there's a little bit of difference in diameter but that's fine we've got it to where it's cylindrical either way now depending on what project we're going to use this material for I'm going to back you guys out here um, so it's prepped ready to go on the shelf we've got the mill scale off of it uh, here where I'm at I don't have to worry about things rusting up so actually we need to break <laughs> I need to break the edges on this one. This, this piece is pretty sharp here, so let's slide it back in real quick. I just noticed that, picking it up. Change tools real quick. Let's grab. Yeah, that's a lot safer edge. Just check that other side real quick. Yeah, let's go ahead and dress this other side just to make sure that way when we're handling it, it's on the shelf. Um, we don't have to worry about anything. Again, the idea behind this was this exercise Number one, I'm cleaning up a bunch of stock that I have that I've been into to, because uh, I always take when I get it, I know what the material is, and once I face the ends, I write it on the ends, uh, and then pull the mill, you know, face both ends, and then pull the mill scale off, and now it'll set on the shelf ready to go uh, to be used for something. Um, 8620 is pretty good, uh, machine's great, um, works well, does well with cutter case hardening, stuff like that, so. There you go. These are some very handy, again, they've got two different ones in the book. I've showed you the number. It'll be in the description link down at the bottom of the video. They are very, very, very handy. And they come on this little metal tray here. So, unless you want to really spend a lot of time, and depending on where you're at, whether you have easy access to free or if you don't, you have to go buy the material. You know, this is over six inch diameter material, whether it's, uh, and then varying thicknesses too. That can get expensive, just, and there's a lot of waste there when you cut it all out so your jaws will fit. It fits on a little piece of metal, and I put them right back in the box, just so they don't get lost, and I keep them clean. And uh, very handy to have, pretty decent box. Um, for the money and the time saving, they're definitely worth it. This is something I thought about when 
you know me when I go to invest in tools I definitely want to something that is gonna be very handy um, working having short pieces you guys know I like the 5c chuck and the reason I like it is I can use round collets to hold short pieces that's the problem with three jaws is grabbing grabbing onto the piece of material when you hold it and so when it rotates it's not you know out of round it's cylindrical uh, holds it as best as as possible until you get the ends faced up and then you know what we saw in the exercise was you know cleaning up the mill scale on the outside so that way this right here is a good tool saving or time saving tool uh, it's worth that way you guys make your little uh, <coughs> scrap bin scores dumpster dumpster diving all that you know some people call it dumpster humping and stuff but when you get your little pieces of material whether you buy it online you know the drops or you have because typically most businesses stuff like this is they have no use for they just scrap it out or they might sell it to you um, or give it to your whatever the case may be but to, to to spend time to get your metal supply squared up so you know what you have you know what the rough dimensions are because you've got it you know cylindrical square ready to go so when you go over there it's like it's ahead of time it's a time saving deal I'll spend time and I'll do a lot of this ahead of time so that way when I get ready to do my project I don't have to face it and turn it me as a garage guy that's kind of what I do at times whenever I get some materials in is I'll square the ends up so that way I know especially if it's stuff like that um, ready to go so I can grab it and just start on a project very very handy to have so definitely worth it again if you guys missed the information I'll hold it up there where you can freeze frame it that's the part number contact all industrial tool supply uh, they are in the process of about ready to launch the new website I know it's been a long time for them trying to get it up and running contact them request a master catalog call them if you have any questions they'll be more than happy to answer it when you request a master catalog also let them know your t-shirt size and they'll send you an all industrial t-shirt just like this and it'll have their logo on the back as well so show them the YouTube community love there um, they're a sponsor of the summer bash and uh, you know they're a small US based company they ship international so if you're in the UK Australia they're gonna ship to you so uh, and uh, you know prices accordingly call uh, you know find out shipping rates it varies depending on where you're at in the world but there you go outstanding definitely spend your money on something smart that's what I'm always after great stuff so we've got some other stuff going over here on the mill that we're working on I'll kind of show you guys a little bit of glance a teaser if you will so I've posted a couple of pictures up on social media and uh, we also picked up here recently uh, from all industrial a, uh, a light and I'll I'll show this you know very very handy it is what they call explosion proof um, I still had this which you know it's a double boost light it's not all that great um, this is going to get removed here pretty soon but this light is designed to be working with the mill um, that way coolant won't splash up on it and it's safe I've seen other guys uh, use some like nine dollar lights from a local dollar store a convenience hardware supply place they're not rated to have like flood coolant and oil splashed up on them because they'll the bulbs will blow this has its protective lens its halogen uh, it's designed and I mounted it I had to drill and tap to mount it over here it's designed to work with the mill um, I that was one of my concerns <laughs> I loosen that up I got to tighten it up but that was one of my concerns with running this little light it's not designed for flood coolant and there's times coolant would splash up on it and it would quit working so that was one of the reasons I decided to go ahead and you know get what is made for um, you know so there you go always trying to think about shop safety um, you do what you can whenever you can afford it buy the equipment that is rated to handle coolant being splashed on it or oils or things like that so you don't end up with a mishap the last thing you want is a mishap in the garage and something going on I know everybody I've I posted some stuff on social media 
and uh, everybody has their own opinion about, you know, there's the safety Nazis out there, and then there's the realists. Me, I, I try not to be too over safety with things, but, um, you know, recently on social media I posted a uh, neighbor uh, literally down the street, two houses down, his house burnt, and it was because he did the classic, got done doing woodworking with linseed oil. Had a bunch of rags, had piled, we found, I found this out the other day, piled them in the garage when he got done because he didn't want them in the backyard to where his dog could get a hold of them rather than, oh, I don't know, hang them on a clothesline or a board to let them dry out. He made the fatal mistake. Well, no one died, but it destroyed his whole house. They've got to take it down to the concrete and rebuild it, but set them in the garage and 11 o'clock at night, 11.30, poof, spontaneous combustion. The classic of do not do this ever. He didn't know. He did it. He was a very new rookie woodworker. I met with him. He, you know, felt bad. The guy never knew. First time he ever got into a big woodworking project. And so that just kind of made me roll back and think whenever that happened. And I thought, you know what? That right there is an, it just, it takes just that long. You know, a bulb blowing, blowing glass, something like that. I'm always careful. I make sure when I do things, ears, eyes, protection, gloves, you know, you don't, you, you just got to be, you got to be your own judgment uh, about being safe. But that kind of, when that happened and watching his house burn, and it was sad because they lost everything. It's a total loss. So I just kind of wanted to put that back out there, you know. Um, anyway, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this week. Kind of short on the video, but I've got a lot of things going on. You know me, I'm always posting stuff up on social media. Uh, my Facebook thing, Eagle Dust Off 37, you guys hit me up. If you guys have any questions, my public email address, eagledustoff37 at gmail.com. I'm on social media, Instagram and Twitter, same thing, at eagledustoff37. Hit me up. Holler at me if you guys got any questions about this or any other videos. Um, like I said, the company All Industrial Tool Supply, www.allindustrial.com. Go check them out. Small company. Um, they've got all the great name band stuff as well as, uh, you know, uh, some other brands if you want to try them and great stuff. So this is a definite must-have tool. Let me tell you, these are handy. Very, very handy for the money. So until next time, and I've got some neat stuff coming up. You know, holidays come creeping up on us here and Halloween pretty soon. Talk to you later. Take care of yourself and take care of your family because remember, at the end of the day, you and your family is all you got until next time. Get out in the garage. Try some new tools. This stuff is fun. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.